What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to auto filter based on multiple cell values. So let's get into it. Alright, so on the right here, I've got a data set with uh, countries and regions. And we're going to go ahead and make, make a couple of drop downs and use those to auto filter the data. So let me start off with the region. I'm going to hit control shift down to grab all these regions and then I'm going to paste them here and then let me remove the duplicates okay so now I have 11 unique values so this will be my list of regions so I'll just put that here so I'm gonna go to data validation allow list the source is going to be this here press enter okay all right so now I got a drop down all my regions and then here let's create another drop down except we're gonna use the alphabet and I'll show you what I mean so let me go ahead and like type a oops okay and then let's do this so this cells gonna equal because if I were to drag this down I wouldn't get the alphabet it wouldn't be like a B it just be a over and over again even if I start it off and try to drag it, it still won't work so uh, we're gonna do this so character code and then I want this cell here and I'm just gonna add one so now, when I bring it down, I kept going. Okay, cool. All right. So now I've got my my alphabet, and copy and paste the values so I don't have a formula anymore. But let me next to this. Let me do this. I'm gonna add an asterisk. So all these because I want to create a wild card so bear with me sorry about this let me I'm gonna get to the point I'm gonna, it's all gonna come home I'm, I'm gonna bring this home all right boom so this is gonna be another list it's gonna look like this and we're gonna put it here um, data validation again allow list choose our source our source is gonna be this here the alphabet with the asterisks okay all right so now I got that okay so now for our sub it's gonna be really simple let's call this sub filter multiple and all we're gonna do is with sheets and then we'll choose our sheet name our sheet name is sheet one And then the range. My for, um, my headers started at A4, so I'm gonna choose A4. But if your headers are up here, you choose A1. And you can also specify the range. If you don't, it'll automatically grab all these here. But if I wanted to say, you know, go from A4 to F4, I just put a colon there and do F4, so that my range would only cover here. But by choosing the first cell on that row, the filter's gonna go all the way across. So now I'm gonna end my width here and in between I'm gonna set my auto filter I'm filled. So we're going with field one, the country. For that, we're going to have a criteria. Criteria one is going to be this cell here. So I'll just choose range G2. And I want the text in that cell. So this is saying I'm going to auto filter this first column and I'm 
gonna use whatever is in um, cell G2. So what it's gonna do, because this is a wild card, any country that starts with the letter A is gonna get picked up. So that's how the, a wild card works. It um, allows you to just to grab that first um, character and use that to filter by. And you could, you know, make it more specific. You could add more letters before or after the wild card. But for this example, we're just going to do the first letter. So we're looking for countries that start with A. So then our auto filter again, this time by fill two. And my criteria, criteria one, is going to be the range right above it. So it's going to be G2. Or sorry, G1. And um, I'm looking, well, here I'm looking for the region. So this first line is grabbing the um, countries that start with this first letter here. And then this line is grabbing regions that are equal to whatever's in this cell here. So there shouldn't be that much. So let's go ahead. Let me pick another letter. Let me do uh, S, Eastern York. Okay, so now we play, or we press run, and there we go. We got Serbia, Slovakia, Slovenia, all in Eastern Europe. I can change this up. Northern Africa, let's go with B, got nothing, let's go with A, got Algeria, okay, you can do Latin America, let's see, we got this here, it's pretty cool, right, so all these uh, countries start with the letter C, and they're all in Latin America, and we can change this, you know, for whatever region we want whatever letter we want to start with and we just run our macro and see what we come up with so yeah pretty cool um that's all I got thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe have a good one